Yo, what's good, y'all? We back in the building, man, with another reaction video for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Salute, man, to all the supporters out there. Truly, truly appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy from the bottom. My mother living hard. Y'all already know that, baby, huh? Now, come on, man. Y'all see what's on the mother loving screen, man. We got... Oh, man, we got Prof back in the building, man. Been a little minute, though. I ain't gonna lie, man. I can't remember the last joint I did from Prof, man, because I done did so many. It's like I can't even motherfucking recall the last one I did, but we back in the building, though. You feel me? Highly, highly requested joint right here. We got a live version, too, man, of this joint right here, man. Highly requested from a lot of y'all. This is Prof right here with Heaven, you know what I'm saying, live, you know what I'm saying, from the gallery, live from the gallery, man. But we gonna get right into this joint, man. I ain't doing no more talking. Let's go see what he talking about, you feel me? See what Prof talking about on this joint, man, you know what I'm saying? Seems like it's gonna be some spiritual stuff. But well, we gonna see what he talking about, man, let's go. Passionate and brittle I'm asking for a little of your time uh. I know I hurt you bad mm. Come on, man He said I need a little bit of your You know what I'm saying? He's like, yo, I need a little bit of your time, man I know I hurt you bad Come on, man yeah. I, I mean, he's speaking from the soul, bro How can you not How can you not like it, bro? Like, just right off rip, he like, yo, I know I hurt you bad, but I need some of your time. I'm trying to, you know what I mean? I'm trying to let you know that I'm sorry for what I did. You know what I mean? Like, some real heartfelt stuff, man. Come on, man. You got to respect that, man. And, 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 and this ain't, you know, typical prof right here. If anybody that's that's watching that know about prof, you know what I'm saying, that been following dude for a minute, you already know this mug right here. You know what I'm saying? He off the chain, ran bunches with it, real animated and all of that. So now we getting a joint right here that's like real laid back, you know, real easy going. Come on, man. You got to respect that. For, 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 I mean, that's a real artist right there, man. An artist that can do multiple different things really well. Like, you got to respect that, bro. Like, he ain't on no rowdy stuff right now. Prof is usually on that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, y'all already know what Prof is, man. Y'all know what Prof do. You know what I'm saying? If you've been following homie for a minute, you already know he off the chain with it. He's high energy and all of that. But it's like, yo, he like, yo, I got to give y'all something that y'all can really vibe to and just sit back and chill, and sit back and vibe with on some easygoing type of stuff. Not no rowdy, rowdy, yelling, screaming, jumping all over the place. All kind of stuff like that. Like, let me just, you know, ease y'all into this. You feel me? Ease y'all into this easy joint right here that's that's just on some real peaceful type stuff. Like, I'm talking to the people. Like, I really want people to listen to me when I'm speaking on this track right here. You feel me? Come on, man. That's, that's real artistry right there. When you could switch up and do different things like that. Come on, that's that's real artistry right there. I mean, you got to respect that as an artist. And I mean, if you're a person that really loves music and all of that, then you got to respect artists that are able to do that because not every artist can do that. A, a lot of artists just got one style that they do. You know, they got one style. They're either real rowdy or they're quiet or whatever, but it's just only one thing that they can do really good. And a lot of them, 
can't really do one thing good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If we're going to keep it a thousand, a lot of mugs can't do one thing good. So, you know, shit, just being able to do one thing good is good. But if you are a, a true artist, then you can do multiple different things really, really good. Straight up, man. That's real artistry right there when you can switch it up, man. So, come on, man. Shouts to Prof, man, for switching it up, yo. Real talk. Hold on, let me go back a little bit. I know I hurt you bad. Mm -hmm. I know it's hard to look at me without going right back into the past. I just can't admit, yeah, we're at a standstill. Yeah. Do you remember times when we were almost happy? You could always say things that would make my eyes close. Would you just pick up the phone? Mm. Would you speak to me in heaven? Would you still feel some type of way? Mm. Would you forgive me in heaven, babe? I got some things I want to say uh -huh. I thought I loved you as much as I could <laughs> My love was wrong, I was misunderstood All along I was so immature, yeah Come on, man You see, now he's switching it up, you know what I mean? On, I man. thought I loved you as much as I could <laughs> My love was wrong, I was misunderstood he said, I thought I loved you as much as I could. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. My love was wrong, it was misunderstood. He said, my love was wrong, it was misunderstood. But but now, now you see that he's adding that energy into it now. Now he's getting real emotional with it and bringing that high energy into it now. You know what I mean? So it's like, now the old prop, you know what I'm saying? Like the old prop, the prop that most of us are used to, now he's bringing that back into effect now. He like, yo, I, I was cool. I was calm for a little second. Now I got to bring the energy back into it now. Now I got to wake people up again, but still on some laid back stuff. I'm still talking to y'all. I still really want y'all to listen, you know what I'm saying, and what I'm saying, but I'm bringing that energy back into it. Like the energy got to be there. You feel me? Come on, man. This dude right here, man, like <laughs> painting a picture, boy. As much as I could. Uh -huh. My love was wrong, I was misunderstood. All along, I was so immature. Yeah. I know I hurt you bad. Oh, I'm devoted to keeping you. I'm dreaming to make amends. I'm done running away from my sins. I just can't let this shit end. you still feel some type of way would you forgive me in heaven babe i got some things i want to say come on man that's real right there man that's real right there i i, I know I, I ain't the only one that be wondering about that kind of stuff i ain't gonna lie bro like yo just say you had a falling out with somebody a person that you really care about, you know what I'm saying? Your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, husband, whatever, a friend, a family member, whatever, right? You got a falling out and it's like, yo, something happened, to, you know what I'm saying, to that person. God forbid something happened to that person and they're no longer here on the earth with us, right? And it's like, would you forgive me for things that I said or things that transpired between us, would you forgive me if you was in heaven? If I was calling up to heaven, you know what I'm saying? If I was able to call up to heaven, if heaven had a hotline or, or, or a phone up there and I was able to call you in heaven, would you answer the phone? Would you pick it up knowing that it's me on the other line? Even though we went through the shit that we went through and we had a falling out, I mean, a couple falling outs, you know what I'm saying, and stop talking or whatever for a certain amount of time, 
would you pick up the phone if you was in heaven if you knew it was me calling that's that's real bro a lot of us wonder about that type of stuff you gotta just think about that type of stuff you know what i mean from time to time like come on man that's real right there i know a lot of us be thinking about that so he like yo would you pick up the phone <laughs> that's real man that's real come on man That's that's deep, bro. That's In deep. heaven, babe, Come on, man. I got some things I wanna say. Uh huh. I need my life. Pass me by. Hmm. Okay, so he says so I so I guess it could be looked at either way, right? If 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 I was if I was in heaven and the other person that I'm trying to get in contact with, you know what I mean, ain't in heaven, or if both of us are in heaven, are you gonna speak to me when you see me? Are, are we gonna have dialogue? with each other if we see each other in heaven or are you just gonna keep it moving i mean come on man i don't know that type of stuff can go down in heaven though you know what i mean like, like i feel like it, it, and this is just my opinion if you if you get to heaven if you're lucky enough if you're blessed enough i guess to be able to get into heaven like God probably don't allow that. You no know, cold shoulder stuff or I don't want to speak to that person and all of that. Like, you, you know what I mean? I feel like you got to be welcoming. You got to be forgiving and all of that. You can't be on no stuff like, oh, I ain't going to speak to that person. Even if that person that I stopped talking to, I got a lot of love for that person and everything like that. But if we both in heaven, I ain't going to say nothing to that person if I see him in heaven, I, I don't think that's going to go down. God ain't going to, you know what I mean? God ain't going to have that. God is not going to allow that. I highly doubt it. I could be wrong. <laughs> I could be wrong. I, I ain't never met nobody that went to heaven and came back and told people what heaven was like or what it's like or whatever. I, I, I ain't never met nobody. I never had nobody in my life that went to heaven and came back from heaven and told me what heaven is like. I ain't never had that experience before. Maybe somebody had, but I ain't never experienced that before. So I wouldn't know. I don't, I don't know how things work in heaven, but I just feel like that type of stuff wouldn't be allowed. No cold shoulder type stuff, or I don't want to mess with that person, or carrying or harboring any type of animosity or anger or anything like that, resentment, like anything in that realm. That stuff is not allowed in heaven, bro. That's just my personal opinion about it. Like I said, I could be wrong, but I just don't think it flies in heaven. That's just my opinion, though. You feel me? Come on, man. Prof talking, though. Come on, Would man. Would you just pass me by? Uh-huh. Would you forgive me in heaven, babe? Nah. Why can't we just give it a try? Mm. Come on, man. Homie had to walk away after that. Aren't you tired of all those boring, endless oh, videos? Man. Try something new. Check out this awesome game with an epic story. Yo. Prof had to walk away after that last line. Come on, man. He said, let's give it a try. And then just walked off. Like, it, it, it kind of looked like, to me, from, from, from the way... I'm seeing it, it kind of looked like he was getting ready to ball out. It kind of looked like his eyes was getting ready to cry a river, but I ain't lying, bruh. It kind of looked like the eyes was getting ready to cry a river. I ain't lying, bruh. Like, that, that shit looked, it, it looked like that's what was getting ready to happen if he stayed there any longer. You know what I'm saying? If that nigga had waited a couple more seconds until he had walked off, 
then, you know what I'm saying, we would have seen tears coming down. That, that, that's what it looked like to me. I don't know. But shouts to Prof, man. Like I said, this dude is so freaking talented, bro. Like, yo, he got so much talent, man. You know, just the way he put songs together, just the way he can sing and harmonize and all of that and still rhyme things as if, like, yo, I'm harmonizing and rapping at the same time, like, and making it look easy. I'm making it look easy. I'm making it sound easy. And it ain't easy to do. It's not easy to do. So just the fact that he make it look easy and make it sound easy, that's amazing, bro. Like, he got incredible talent. He got incredible talent, man. Shouts to Prof once again. I, I, I mean, I, I really, I really enjoy these live performances, man. These live, you know what I'm saying, versions of of songs like this is, is you know I mean, is everything. You know, even songs that are more up-tempo and everything like that, I really enjoy listening to those type of songs. I really enjoy listening to live versions of any type of song. It could be a rap song, it could be a jazz song, it could be an R&B. It really don't matter you know what I'm saying, the genre of music or anything like that. As long as it's something that, that, that feels good and, you know what I'm saying, evokes, you know what I'm saying, some kind of emotion out of me or out of people in general, then come on, that, like, 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 like that's a good song. That's, that's good stuff right there, man. You really can't ask for much more than that. So shout out to Mother Love and Prof, man. Dope, dope stuff right there. I'm definitely going to be doing more live versions of his songs for sure because they, 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 I, I mean I've done some in the past but like you know just getting a refresher of how good it sound how good the live version sounds and everything like that you know what I'm saying just, just, I mean just the way he flows and you know, you know what I'm saying the way his voice just flows over the beats and everything like that it just sounds incredible man really really incredible on some real stuff so Shouts to Prof once again, man. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about that joint right there, man. Let me know what you want me to react to next, all right? Um, like this joint, man. Y'all already know. Tell your friends, your family, tell everybody about it. Sub to the channel if you haven't already, all right? Hit that little bell notification up top so you know when your boy drop a new vid on y'all, all right? Um, that's it, man. That's all I got for this one right here. But I'll catch y'all on the next one, though, all right?